They're coming to get you, Barbara. What's up, guys? I'm Kenny, and welcome back to Channel of the Dead. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You can also add us on Twitter, Instagram, and the Slasher app at Channel Living Dead. Today I wanted to talk about an absolute horror classic, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Not only did The Texas Chainsaw Massacre kick open the door on an entire genre, it also paved the way for many other franchises and set the bar for gritty realism in the slasher flicks. The minuscule budget provided the film a documentary feel and a sense of unease throughout. Shot in 1974 and directed by Toby Hooper, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre traumatized me in the best possible way and cemented my love for the genre. It centers around a dysfunctional, cannibalistic family living in the middle of nowhere, Texas, USA. A group of teens arrive in their Volkswagen van, Meals on Wheels style, and one by one begin to realize the trouble they've gotten themselves into. This movie catapulted Leatherface to the status of horror icon and led to a series of remakes and sequels. One of the things I like most about Leatherface, he's just a semi-normal guy conditioned by his family and environment to become the monster that we all love. Devoid of any perceivable personality, Leatherface is only able to express himself through a series of masks fashioned from the skin of his victims. Loosely based on infamous killer and grave robber Ed Gein, this film is presented to the viewer as a true story. Art director Robert Burns spent countless hours locating the remains of a variety of animals at various stages of decomposition and scattered them throughout the house, which really gave the place the look and feel of a psychotic abattoir. The filming conditions were miserable, with the temperatures in the house reaching up to 110 degrees. The actors weren't able to wash their clothes for continuity purposes. Between the smelly costumes and the rotten carcasses strewn about, you can only imagine how bad the stench must have been. Gunnar Hansen did a phenomenal job in his role as Leatherface, somehow bringing a sense of expression and personality to a character with zero lines. I also have to give praise to Jim Cedow and Marilyn Burns for their respective roles as the cook and Sally Hardesty. Edwin Neal made a short but memorable impression as the batshit crazy hitchhiker in Nub and Sawyer. Overall, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of the best horror films ever made. If you somehow haven't ever seen it, I highly suggest you drop what you're doing and go check it out right now. Sorry about this video guys, uh, I'd actually made it earlier. I finally got my GoPro working, so I had to change the whole way I'm shooting and figure it out once again as I go. So I'm um, going to go ahead and wrap it up for now. I'm going to try to hit another video in the next couple days and get this one up, get everything going. We'll see you guys next time. For Channel Living Dead, I'm Kenny, and I'm out.